In my hands, I have the Scuff Instinct Pro, and this just might be, without exaggeration, the best Xbox controller on the market today. And that's saying a lot, it's a bold statement, so let's dive right into some of the functionality and features so I can show you guys why I think this controller is so special. First and foremost, I think it's important to know that this controller did cost me $300 all in, and it took about five weeks to ship to me, and I am in North America, so hopefully that's indication to you. Let's go ahead and look straight at scuffgaming.com because I wanna show you guys some of the different different customization options. First of all, we'll go to Shop Instinct. Now there is an Instinct and an Instinct Pro. We went with the Instinct Pro. They have pre-builds or you can customize your own. Obviously, I went for the custom build. Let me show you a few of these, even though most of these are gonna be aesthetic and not functional options, just so you guys can kind of get an idea. So I paid 10 bucks to get the controller light gray, went with the red and black, another $10. Now, I like the fact that we can actually choose the left and the right thumbstick, concave dome, long, or short, that's pretty nice. And you can also customize the colors as well. You can customize the ring colors, whatever. That's pretty cool, I guess, nothing special. Two different D-pads, standard and hybrid. I went with the hybrid. We have different bumper colors, whatever, trigger colors. You can get rumbles in or out. It's only a $3 hardware option, which I thought was very reasonable. And as I play FPS games, obviously I went for that. Now I did go for this $35 add-on pack, which gave me the hard shell carrying case for my scuff controller, four additional joysticks, an extra USB-C cable, because as most of you guys know that this controller does come with a USB-C cable already, and then some like weird liquid chalk gamer grip that I'm probably never going to use. But that's why it cost me $300 for the controller. Let's get into some of the features and functionality. So as I mentioned before, this controller is extraordinarily lightweight, which was the first thing I noticed other than the aesthetic, because A, I have no rumbles. There's a magnetic faceplate, five magnets, boom, expose the internals of the controller. If you look in the handles right there, that's where you guys would see the rumbles if there was any. Secondly, I always play with my controller actually plugged in because I'm a PC player. So I don't actually put any batteries in the back. So with no batteries, no rumbles, no extra hardware in there, this controller is like a feather. It's super lightweight. I love that. As I mentioned before, easy to swap out these thumbsticks. I use an elevated thumbstick. I like that we have the option to go with the elevated, the domed, or the concave. Very easy to swap out. No problems there. On the back, you're going to notice there is a rubberized pro style grip, not even close to as good as the reflex, which is the PS5 version of the scuff controller. I don't know why it looks similar, but it is nowhere near the quality in my opinion. Now the good news for this one is it's not as tacky. So I feel like from a long-term durability standpoint, it'll probably last longer than that reflex one. If the Xbox elite series grips are any indication, because that one was also kind of tacky, but it just rips right off. If you have any type of tight grip around the controller. Another thing that I like, so the triggers, they do have mouse click triggers. But what's so special about these triggers is there's actually trigger stops in them. Again, we've seen in the Xbox Elite controller and a few other different Xbox controllers trigger stops before. I just love the fact that they add them anyway though, because for example, I remember in 2020 when I was playing Warzone all the time, I was playing with mouse click triggers. When I got into a vehicle and I tried to drive, I couldn't actually drive full speed in the car and I got my entire team killed because I didn't have the full trigger path. So it's nice to have a trigger stop so you can just quickly flip back, boom, mouse click, and then flip back, boom, you can drive. That was always a good thing to me. So I, I do love trigger stops, but touching on it again, the mouse click action actually is extremely impressive. With trigger stops, I've not seen or felt such a nice, resistant and bouncy mouse click with the trigger stop. So I think they did an extraordinary job implementing that. And that's why I'm so high on this controller, I think is because that feature really impressed me. Another thing that I love is we've seen this before on scuff controllers, but they do have an easy profiles button. So this button does allow you to remap these four buttons on the back. It is a unique button style system, which we'll cover in just a second. But there's three different user profiles. I like to play Halo, I play Apex, and I like to play Vanguard ranked play. And I might have a little bit of a different variation in how I play those games. So it's nice to just with one press of a button, be able to swap profiles based on the different games that I'm playing. That's really nice. Talking about these buttons. So they're not paddles, but they're buttons. First of all, 
little, a little hard to press. I will say that. I do like the size of the button. My hand personally fits nicely in them. I don't like the four paddle variation where I actually have to use my ring and my middle finger on them. So this is a great style for me where I can, you know, jump, duck, slide, cancel, and then just boom, reload, switch weapons, just all with my middle finger. I think the functionality is great. A little hard to press, like I said, but it also does eliminate a lot of accidental presses. So I think all in all implemented well, and I adjusted extremely quickly. As far as performance options go, that pretty much covers the basis of them. And granted $300 all in with that extra bundle is a lot of money, but I will say that I have played the heck out of this controller for several months on a plethora of different games, like I said, including Halo Infinite, Call of Duty Vanguard, and Apex Legends. And I gotta say, performs well, it's holding up fabulously. I really love the execution of all the hardware and we've tested more than a dozen controllers on the channel. So I've thoroughly and extensively tested out many controllers. I gotta say, this one is one of my favorites right now. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any content coming up in the future. Let me know which controller you wanna see next. But until we see you on next week's video, we out.